What's your name, sir? Milo. I'm Officer Hastings. Let me tell you why I pulled you over, Milo. Okay. You are way over the maximum height limit for wagon loads allowable by law and window. Oh, I had no idea. Well, you are. By quite a bit. Can I ask you? Are you moving today, Milo? No. What happened was the lock on my door broke yesterday. I didn't want to leave all my stuff at the house without a lock. So you're driving around with everything you own? Yes. Seems like an awful lot to lug around. Tell me about it. I'm getting a new lock tomorrow, so... Okay. Uh, How far are you headed? I'm just up ahead, sir. Right around Dunmeth Pass. Okay. So long as I never see you driving around with a load this high again. Right. And I'm just keeping to myself. Just staying out of trouble. I know. I know that, Gina. I've seen you around. You're a sweet woman. I know you would never be involved in anything sordid, or... You can understand my position, right? Here you are, this gorgeous woman, hanging out in front of the stables late at night. I see. Even though I'm not doing anything wrong, I see how it would look, yeah. That's fine. You can come hang out here if you want to. I mean, you're obviously not hurting anyone, so I won't tell anyone. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, officer. That's very nice. Thank you. Uh, You're welcome. You know, Gina, we've never really talked before. But I think of you as kind of a special lady. Really? Yes, I do. I was thinking, maybe on my day off... You know I'm a guy, right? (laughs) You're so crazy, and that's what I like. I was thinking maybe we could take a ride out to the reach. Don't believe me? Come here. What? (laughs) You take me in? Oh, look at... See? What? What? Like you've never seen a penis. We've got a disturbed wood elf directly across from us in Morthal taking pot shots at anybody and everybody that moves. We don't know if he just got fired or his wife left him or what happened, but clearly he's gone over the edge. So, we brought in all the troops we have with psychological training so we have the best chance of resolving this peacefully. Our main challenge right now is getting close enough to where we can establish a dialogue. See what you can do, Corcoran. Fagenbuehl, you try. Sturdivant? I'm starting to see a pattern here. I've dealt with these boys before. They're always up here bothering the trolls. Johnson, Williams, Pettigrew, get over here! You two, Meninger, and Hollinswood, let's go! What'd I tell you kids about teasing these trolls out? Officer! I'm doing the job! Ah, I've just been horribly maimed! Thanks a lot, boys! My shoulder blade down the middle of my back! Can I help Imperial you? Imperial Guard, ma'am. We're looking for Ricky Stonepool. Who? Ricky Stonepool. We have an arrest warrant. We understand he lives here. I'm going to check back here. Not in this house. I've never heard of Rapid Stonepool. Ma'am, Pool. Rapid is his nickname. What am I, a scientist? I'm just saying. It doesn't look too good. He's back here. Oh, hey. Rapid? I was just heading down to the station to turn myself in. Wearing a sword? That goes with the shirt. Stonepool slipping out the back. Who would have thought? You want to drop that sword, Ricky? Let me just ask you. Out of curiosity, what happens if I don't? I'm sorry, Ricky. Okay, okay, I was just asking. Cop Skyrim fans, your hero, Officer Jenkins. Listen, those of you who helped out the guard by posting crimes in the comment section, there's a word for folks like you, and that word is snitch. Don't report any more crimes. I'm disgusted with all of you. If you want to see how the whole thing started, click on season one. Click on season two to see more badass cop action. If you want to see new episodes for season three, come here on Thursdays, and I am on Facebook. You all seem to enjoy me in the show, but uh, as far as a Facebook friend, I think I'm my past. If you want to join a Nerdist, subscribe. I'm going to go somewhere and do something a little more interesting. Later.